Let's get started. Let's start in child's pose. So take your knees wide spread and extend those arms forward, melting that chest down to the mat. You might place that forehead down as well. Just start to inhale and exhale. Letting some really big breaths come into your body. Eventually, you're going to swim forward to a sphinx position, planting those forearms down. You might drop the chin, making the neck a little loose. Continually breathing here. Eventually dropping all the way down onto your tummy. Take those arms up to a T position. Take that left leg up and over, letting that left hip hang heavy, giving a good stretch through that right shoulder. Option to keep this arm straight up, or you can bend it, taking it to a cactus-like position, giving a slightly different shoulder stretch. Just take some breaths here. A few more moments. Eventually taking it back to center. Take that arm out to the left side. Now taking the right leg up and over. Letting that right hip hang really heavy. Option to keep that arm straight out or cactus it up, bending at the elbow. Giving a slightly different stretch in that left shoulder. Take a few more breaths here. Eventually, you're gonna plant those hands and on your next inhale, you're gonna lift your chest, maybe not keeping your arms fully straight, keep them at a bend. Just gently lifting the chest. Exhale, take it down. You're gonna stack your hands on top of each other and then lay your forehead on top. Bring that right knee up to your right elbow to a frog pose down here. Letting that hip hang heavy. You might even gaze off to the right if that feels more comfortable. So bending at the knee, drawing that knee up towards the right elbow. Letting the hip hang heavy. Just relaxing here. Giving a good stretch in the inner hip. If this is feeling good for you, feel free to stay here or option to extend to that right leg. Try to get that leg straight.
you might take those forearms and prop yourself up in this half frog extended position. Taking a few breaths here. Really placing those forearms down, extending that energy up from the ground. Take it back down, extending that leg back. You might rock those hips side to side. Planting the palms down by your shoulders once again. Gently lift, maybe not fully straighten to those elbows. Keeping those elbows tucked in towards the body. Exhale, take it down. Stacking those hands on top of each other once again. Draw that left knee up to the left elbow. Half frog on this side. Maybe you take that gaze over to the left side if that feels nice. Option to extend fully through that left leg if you'd like. Or staying in this left side half frog position. Option to come up back to those elbows, planting the forearms, keeping that left leg extended, really drawing that energy up from the floor, lifting floor, lifting to the chest. Take a few moments here. Dropping back down, extend that leg back. Take those hands, push yourself back to a child pose, knees widespread, arms extended forward. When you're ready, you're going to tuck your toes, plant those hands, come up to a high plank position. Draw, drawing that belly button up and in, doming through that upper back as much as you can. Can you take a moment here? You might shift back and forth if that feels good. Eventually dropping onto the knees, coming to a tabletop position. Take those wrists underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Drop the belly down and then round to the back. Once again, dropping the belly and rounding to the back. Take a few of these at your own pace. Connect this to your breath. So exhaling as you drop the belly, inhaling as you round. You might keep this traditional cat-cow going, loosening up that spine, or you might venture off taking some big hip swivels. Whatever feels good as you loosen up your spine. Eventually, you're going to come back seating on your heels. You're going to pop those feet up, come into a Malasana squat here. Drawing those hands to heart center. Really lifting through the chest. You're going to take those elbows, placing them on the inside of the knees and pressing out. You might close your eyes and take a few breaths.
Eventually planting that right hand down, extend up to that left arm. Tall though the sky, you might gaze at that, that thumb. And then reverse it when you're ready. Planting that left hand, extending to the right arm. And make your way back down. Maybe bring those hands back to heart center for one more lift in the center. Taking a few breaths. You can either stay here or play around with a balance today if you'd like. You'll plant your hands in front of you, squeezing those knees on the outer elbows. And then lift one toe at a time, coming to Bokasana. Feel free to play around with that for a moment if you'd like, or stay in that Malasana squat. Eventually, when you're ready, you're drop back down, drop those knees, coming back to a tabletop position. You might take a few moments to release that spine however you'd like. Traditional cat cow, or maybe some big swivels or head rolls. Eventually, finding some length through that right arm forward, left toes back. Keep those ribs up and tucked in underneath you, drawing that belly button up and in. Take a few more moments here. Really find some length. And you might draw that elbow into your knee, rounding to the back underneath the body. Inhale, extend. And plant it back down. Maybe taking a few moments to readjust, loosen up. Once again, you're going to extend to those left toes in the back, keeping that right arm on the mat though. And then you're going to take those left toes over the right leg. So crossing it over, plant those toes as far over as you can. You're going to gaze over at those right toes, over the right or the left toes at the, over the right shoulder, excuse me. So gazing over that right shoulder, Crossing that left foot over the right far should feel a nice C position in your body. Slight stretch in your hip. And take it back to center. Eventually extending to that left arm now, take those right toes back. Really tucking those ribs in, drawing that belly button in. Keeping that gaze towards the mat, long, flat neck. And then tuck that elbow in towards the knee, round to the back. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, tuck. Inhale, lengthen, and then plant the hand. Keep those right toes extended, and you're going to shift that leg over the left, planting the toes. Gaze over that left shoulder at the toes, making a C shape with your body. So taking those right toes over the left, crossing over the body, and gazing over that left shoulder. Getting a good little stretch in your hip if that feels good. And then take it back to center. You might drop into a child's pose, releasing that back. You know, those arms a good stretch. And then we're going to make our way on to our backs. However you'd like. Drawing those knees in towards your chest. You might take a few rocks side to side. And 
Draw that right knee into your chest, extending to the left and take some circles here. And you might draw it across your body, taking a gentle spinal twist. Keeping that right shoulder attached, drawing that right knee across. Take it back to center. Grab that outer edge of the right foot, come into a half happy baby. Draw that knee into your armpit. Just taking a few moments here. And then take it down. Take, or actually take that right leg across the left now. Coming to a figure four. So you're going to plant that right heel onto the left thigh. And you're gonna take your arms and interlace underneath that left thigh, drawing that leg up, giving a good stretch in that right hip. Take a few more breaths here. Eventually planting that left foot down. You're gonna send those sole of the right foot to the ground. So taking a little twist here, keeping it over that left thigh, sending that foot to the ground, sending the knee up. Giving a nice little spinal twist for that right hip. Take it back to center and unwind. Eventually, you're gonna draw that left knee into the chest, extending to the right. Take some circles, loosening up that hip joint. And then draw the knee into the body, eventually taking it across. Spinal twist. Keeping that left shoulder connected to the floor. Take it back to center. Eventually grab that outer edge of the foot, drawing it in for a half happy baby here. Take that foot, place it over the right thigh now. Come into that figure four and interlace the arms underneath the leg, pulling up, giving that right hip a good stretch. So left ankle over that right thigh, interlace those fingers underneath and pull. Take a few breaths here. Eventually, you're going to plant that foot, send the leg over to that twisted position. So planting that left foot, sending the knee up to the sky. Gentle spinal twist in this figure four position. Letting that left hip stretch.
When you're ready, make your way back up. Drawing both your knees into your chest now. Take a few rocks side to side. And extend those legs out. Happy baby, grabbing the outer edges of the feet. Draw those knees into your chest. If there's anything else you need to do to prepare for your final pose, feel free to do it. And eventually when you're ready, you're gonna send those feet out long. Taking those palms up to the sky, tuck those shoulder blades underneath your back. And just begin to relax here, starting with your toes. Sending that energy up through your legs. Relaxing through your hips. Your chest in your back, sending that relaxing energy throughout your arms. You might take your face and add tension and then release it, fully relaxing into the spinal pose, Shavasana.
Start to bring your awareness back. Maybe taking some big inhales and exhales. You might start to make small movements, wiggling your fingers and toes, or moving your arms and legs, just waking your body up. When you're ready, you might roll to your favorite side, cradling your head with your arm. And eventually when you're ready, making your way up to a seated position. You'll bring your hands to heart center. You might close your eyes. Take a moment to feel grateful for your body. Grateful to yourself for showing up today. Awesome job today, guys. Namaste. Thanks for coming. So good to see you guys. <laughs>